Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming by to visit. It means a lot to me. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So thank you. Um, I'm Anna, the hostess with the mostest. So today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Everything's a dollar twenty-five each. We do not have the Plus Store. No, we don't. We don't have that. We just don't have it. Okay. So um, this is going to be kind of hosh podgy. It is. I'm sorry. It's no way around it. I'm going to try to go through the food items first because they're kind of like right here in front of me. So I'm going to try to do that. And uh, let me grab one of the Dollar Tree bags so I can put them back inside the bag because I have to go back to the kitchen downstairs. So let me do that. Give me a moment. <laughs> now, I will have a Shein haul coming up for you guys. I do have, I am a size 26, 28. Okay. I'm a plus size diva goddess. Yes. Um, if you want me to do a try on for you, put it, put it down in the comments below. Um, I'm my initial share will show you what the clothing is, but if you want me to do a try on, I can do that as a separate video. Um, so I have fashions plus other things from that website. It was like a 200, almost 200, $250 order it's huge from Shein okay so let me know down below I also have some Avon I am an Avon independent Avon representative I do have Scentsy um this you know home wax melts I am an independent Scentsy consultant so I do have like three boxes worth of stuff to share with you um so that's that's gonna be coming up as well and some other things okay including Amazon so be on the lookout because I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon that's been trickling in for the past month and a half. I was just waiting for it to, you know, bundle up so it would be enough to do a video. So there you go. Let's do this food. <laughs> I know that was a lot. They're like, girl. And if you're into dollhouse miniatures, I have more dollhouse miniature um, videos coming up. Check out my team ones. I found a whole bunch of dollhouse miniatures on there. Plus house household crafting and plus size clothing from there, there too. Go check out my videos. I do have them on a playlist. I'll try to put that up there in the eye in the sky. Boop. Okay. So I got the, I got this for my son, Frankie. Um, he likes these. These are the Feria um, Chili and Lime. So this is like a full size bag to get it for $1.25. It's insane. Um, it's a six ounce. They also had the nacho flavor, the nacho flavor one. He likes the Chili and Lime. So we got the chili. I'll say we. I got the chili in line. Okay. The next foodie item I found was this. Okay. So they have, what is this? Four? Yeah. So it's four cheese it bags. And they're the snapped, cheesy, thin, and crispy. Cheesy baked snack, 1.5 ounce. So you get four of them in here. And it says double cheese. So this is a nice big snack size. Look how big it is compared to my hand. Nice big snack size. Um, so there you go. Okay. So I was able to find these. If you if your kids or if you like these, they're available right now. Be on the lookout. Um, I also picked up um, a bag of the um, ta tapatio mm. hot fries. And this is with salsa picante. All right. And it is a 3.5 ounce. So I was looking for other flavors. This is the only flavor that they had. So I did pick it up. My kids like these type of things. And I never buy them. And they had them there. And I was like, you know what? I'm buying them. Okay. So this little bag is like full. All right. The next item, which is going to be... Where's my... Where, you guys know I just... Okay. The bag fell weight. <laughs> But my bag fell. Okay. This is a repeat purchase. My kids have not been feeling well. They're the allergies, the nose draining, sore throat because of the allergies. So, you know, I have these that helps to soothe soothe the, the throat. Um, these are the Sunkiss smoothie bars. They really like these. Um they're made with with um, fruit juice from apple and pear, no high fructose gluten-free and the flavors are pina colada berry strawberry banana and mango mango boo boo bow because i said mango do do da do so there you go i know you got a song and everything i know then they had this 
they had the wild fair i've never seen this there before and this is the wild fair um it says provisions of the mediterranean soil and sun and this is a pit a dried pitted diglet nor date non-gmo usda organic five ounce so i got these so everybody can try these so this was new i used to eat prunes i think it was pitted prunes um like they were candy i would buy like I, my mom would buy them by the bags like five bags and i would go through them like nothing i'll eat a bag a day because i just i just love them and i went through a through a stage and this is when i was younger i must have been like 13 or 14 and i was just i just loved prunes i just now i can't stand them <laughs> i think i ate myself out and then i went through a stage where i was eating nothing but sprouts yeah it's like i craved the taste of sprouts i literally would have bags this big of sprouts and i'll just be eating them like it was you know like it was candy yeah now i can eat, i can still eat sprouts now but it has to be incorporated in food and not straight yeah <laughs> all right let's keep it moving all right i know a little tidbit about me harry and david coffee grounds i was able to find a vanilla creme brulee yeah so i got two of them four ounce they they finally brought in the, the vanilla creme brulee and i really do like it so happy to see that back yay four ounce eight ounces worth of coffee for two dollars and fifty cents which is insane i did buy some more of the yakisobo teriyaki beef my kids really like this so i got three more me, I tasted them and I like them. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. Then I got the yakisobo chicken flavor. Yeah, I got that. I got three of these. But I, I didn't try the chicken. I tried the teriyaki and I did like it. It did taste good. It had like a little bit of a sweet flavor to it, which I thought was unusual, but yet very nice. Yeah. And then as a repeat, a repeat purchase, my kids and I really like this. The peanut clusters by Landmark. So I bought another bag of the peanut clusters. Yeah, I sure did. I sure did. Then um, for food, I did get three of the Donald Duck orange juice drinks for them. And then I, I stopped by the Aldi's next door and I got some oranges. I didn't do a video. I'm sorry, you guys. I bought five bags worth of food. I'll tell you what it was. I'll tell you what it was. I'm not doing a video for it. I already put everything away. I bought the, the mandarins, the little man, the little mandies that you could break up. They look like little oranges. I bought the pink lady apples. And let me tell you, those things were almost $6 a bag. A bag this big. Pink lady apples. I still bought them because that's the ones that they like. I bought some blackberries. Um... No, was it blackberries or boysenberries? I think there were boysenberries. Those were on sale. I got four pre-made salads, chicken Caesar salads, so we can have those today. I bought, they have in their freezer shut in their freezer section, they have a chicken encrusted parmesan breaded. It is delicious. I've been looking for it and looking for it. I bought it one time. We ate it. Everybody loved it. And I was they finally brought it back and I got two bags. And they're like $10 a bag, $9 and something cents a bag. And you cook them up in the oven. They taste delicious. Delicious. Highly recommend it. And then I got two things of orange juice, some eggs. I bought some cheese. Um, I bought some cheese sticks as well. And... Um, I bought some, uh, what, what do you call it? The bars, granola bars, their brand. Um, I bought three boxes of those. So that was, I think that was everything. Oh, and some Danish. I bought some Danish and some bread. Yeah. Okay. And that was it. That was close to a hundred dollars. Five bags worth of food. I think, yeah. Oh, lemons. I bought not lemons. Yeah. I bought lemons. I didn't get the limes and the lemons were almost four bucks for a little bag of lemons. But I still bought them because, you know, they're not feeling well. So they will suck on some lemons and that helps for the whatever is going through them to go by faster. Yeah, no video, sorry. Okay, 
<laughs> so I got the boost of protein drinks. There you go. All right. I got, you know, three of these for them since they're not, you know, feeling the best to make sure that they're getting everything that they need. Then um, as far as food, that is it. And that is it. Now we can go into beauty very quickly. Now they, I shared before the spa descriptions, larger size, 60 count, but they also have these and you get more in a pack here because these are 30, 30, 30. So you got 90 right here. Um, this is, this comes in a combo pack and they have two different combos. So you get 90 in here. Okay by spa description. So in this pack, you get, I'll tell you right now, you get the active lemon and sage, lemon and sage, 30 count. You get the cleansing, which is the witch hazel and cucumber, 30 count. You get the energizing grapefruit and vitamin C, 30 count. So it was 90 towelettes in total for $1.25. Fabulous. I'm talking about fabulous. Then this one is, again, Spa Scriptions, name brand. This is something that you find in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those kind of stores, even in Ulta. Um, so this one is, this is for men, but anybody can use it, you guys. Um, this is refreshing aloe and grapefruit cooling, which is very nice. I already tried the cooling. Aloe and eucalyptus, eucalyptus and then the charcoal with aloe and chamomile. So that is what you get in this three pack. 90 towelettes, 90, you guys, for $1.25. Insane. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful buy. Okay. Then I did buy the Perfect Purity Medicated Body Powder. Use daily to help skin feel fresh and healthy. Triple Relief Formula helps absorb moisture, soothe skin, and relieve itching. This is a six ounce. Now, um, what I did... What I this doesn't have talc, which is good. Um, Lisa's Halls shares this and she swears by this. You know, once summertime hits, this is a go to product for her. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a, a try because she shared this in her last haul. So go check out Lisa's Halls. Um, and she shared that. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm definitely gonna give it a go. All right. Then, um, also in beauty, I bought the Aroma Guru. This is the roll-on. Okay, now a lot of people swear by Aroma Guru. They really and truly do. Um, they say it makes a night and day difference using these essential oils. Now, I have had experience with Aroma Guru, and it hasn't been the best because I think they don't put enough essential oils in it. So, with that in mind, I feel like it's kind of like on the light side. For me personally, but when I read what was in here with my kids not feeling well, um, it says muscle ease essential essential oil blend and it has winter green, eucalyptus, peppermint, ginger, black pepper, turmeric, and nutmeg. Okay, that's what's supposed to be in here. All right. And it's already pre-diluted. It's no muscle no fuss. You just go ahead and you use it. Okay. You don't have to worry about diluting it and simply ap apply it to the body and enjoy the therapeutic um, benefits. So I'm going to pop one open. And I bought two because of, because of the wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus, which would help you breathe. Um, it helps to, uh, with your nasal passages. So I'm going to see if I can pop this open. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I finally got her open and let's do a little test. I know a lot of people here. It's just like, okay. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't have any tapes. This is like hard to open. Okay. I got it open. A lot of people would like, why don't you ever show your, your shopping hauls from the, from the grocery store and stuff. You never like, they think that all I eat is stuff from the dollar tree. No, honey. <laughs> no, I just don't. By the time I get into the store and I, I get back out and I'm tr I just trying to put everything away and I'm like sweating to death because I'm going through the change. And the last thing I'm, I'm thinking about is getting a camera, getting a setup, moving this and moving that just to tape. You know, it's like the last thing I'm thinking about. 
honestly. Okay. It's very light. Like I said, you know, Roma Guru is very light. It's a very light. I can smell it from this far now. So this might help, but it's very, very light. It's like super light, at least for us. But, you know, there are people that swear by it. For $1.25, this is name brand. There you go. All right. Yeah, it's very light. Then I did get three of the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Inhaler. This has natural mint oil. Um, you know, these are wonderful for when you have a stuffy nose, when you just need to clear yourself naturally. Um, uh, I allow my children to use these. It says remove the outer, the outer, um, before use, um, uh, place just close to the nostril. Don't put it in the nose, just close to the nostril, hold other nostril close and inhale deeply. And then you do the same thing with the other one. You close your nostril, you inhale deeply, and that truly helps you to open up your nasal passages. Um, this is a wonderful one to have. This is tried and true. We love using this. And I was so happy that Salt Range made it to the Dollar Tree because this is a wonderful natural mint oil that is strong and will actually help you. This is strong, very strong. Yeah, I don't like the Aroma Guru. I just don't like it. I don't like it. Mm, I don't like it. Okay. Beauty. Let's continue in the beauty department. Now, I bought these two. Um, they had four, and these are the LA Colors Lip Balm, baby. Yeah, baby. Uh, they have four different kinds to try from. I wanted to try this one. This called Cutie, and uh, it's supposed to be peach, and this one's supposed to be pineapple. So let's pop these open and see if they're even worth a dollar twenty-five. Because I'm a lip balm girl. I really enjoy lip balms. I do. So it looks like a little cat, which is so cute. Super cute. Smells like peach. It smells like peach, but little wax too. Let's use this hand. I don't know if it has a flavor or just a smell. It does smell like peach, but a little like waxy peach so let's try this pineapple but it does have that peach scent i know there was a couple of lip balms that they did before in the smaller pots that were supposed to smell like chocolate and stuff and they didn't smell like anything it was like a total waste of money but they do come on very smooth just a heads up okay i know it took me forever to get this thing out right all right so let's try this one. Cute little cat. Looks like a little cat. There you go. Waxy. Woo! It smells like wax and pineapple. But it's still very smooth. It smells like wax and pineapple. I don't like it. Yeah, you heard it. I just threw it in a trash can. I don't like that wax smell. I just threw it in a trash can. Yeah, no. I'm not messing with that. Okay, so I got two more of the warming eye masks. These are tried and true. These are absolutely wonderful. Um, so whenever Noah or anybody else gets like, you know, a little bump in their eye, a little sty in their eye, or a little eye irritant, um, this helps the process to help it move it along. This does warm up beautifully. So I would highly recommend that you have a couple of these. Um, these have a best buy date of 2024 and 11 of 2024. So this is a great one to have in your emergency kit when you need to have a little warm eye compression. Um, if you don't have tea bags, like warm tea bags to put on your eyes to get that same effect. The only thing about that is the tea bags, they do dissipate very quickly. These stay strong for close to a half an hour plus. You heard right. Half of an hour plus. So compared to a tea bag, this is worth $1.25. 
it is worth every little penny. So I'm going to keep buying them. As long as I see them, I'm going to buy one or two each time and build it up because I use them and, and I let my kids use them when they're getting eye irritants and they need that help. Okay. Now let's go into sticker. This is the only sticker that I bought right here. And this is so cute because it has that, uh, well, it's not cute. It's beautiful because it reminds me of nature is green and they're like plants and leaves. So pretty. So I'm going to be placing this. If you guys haven't watched my Timu hauls, I'm going to try to pull this out so you can see what I'm talking about. I know I'm getting up close and personal here. I'm trying not to move y'all too much. I'm going to be placing it here in my holder. Um, this is on my last Timu haul. And this is where I'm placing all my items here. I just slide them in. These are some of my Dollar Tree stamps. See that? So I put my, my things in here. There we go. And then I'll be putting that one in here. And then that's Tim Holtz. And then I have a lot more that are free. Plus I have more back here I've already put in here. Okay, so it's going to be going in this. So if you're looking for something to put your items away, this is priceless. <laughs> I bought four. They're right there, the empty ones, because I got a whole bunch I need to organize. So I'm going to be placing this in here. As a matter of fact, I'll just do it with you because I just, I'm trying to, I'm the most unorganized person in the, in the entire planet. I really and truly am. I'm a piler and I got stuff everywhere. And I'm trying to change my bad habits, really and truly. So if I don't do it immediately, then it doesn't get done. So here, I'm opening it up. And I'm going to slide her in right here. And when you have things like this that help you organize yourself immediately, take out the rest of the packaging so you don't have a whole bunch of, you know, package stuff, it's awesome there now it's in there i know where it's at so when i'm doing my journaling my junk journals cards whatever i know i can peruse through here and i still have all these free pages that i can use besides all the ones i've already filled i love this thing absolutely love it okay so that's the only sticker that i bought now i have to talk about this bag life is sweet tom and jerry Oh, yeah. This was my jam. This was my time. Tom and Jerry was my time. Okay. This is totally me. Tom and Jerry, Dale and Chips. Dale and Chips. What was that? Dale and Chip. Dale and Chip. Tom and Jerry. Look at that. I love this. Okay. So, again, this is from Tom and Jerry Legacy name brand. It's not Dollar Tree. This is a name brand item. They have this available right now. And I know two years ago, they had Dale and Chip. They did. They did. Oh, my gosh. That brought me so much joy finding that. Okay. Now, in the kids department, they have these really nice big old kits available right now. Um, this is Design Your Own Wall Art. It's a 26 by 25 easy to apply, easy to remove. So I guess you can apply it to a wall. And this is by Fashion Angels. This is not Dollar Tree brand, Fashion Angels, fashionangels.com. Um, again, not Dollar Tree. And I'm not too sure what all you get in here. So apparently you get to color, you got stickers, and you got some, and you got some, I think, uh, I don't know, pens. I'm going to open one up. Which one should I open so we can just see what it's like? Because it's nice and big. Might be a good idea to pick them up if you like what you see after I open it up for what? Birthdays, Christmas, pick it up now, tuck it away, hide it in a box in a closet somewhere, and you'll be set. You don't have to worry about all this stuff. You know, once the holidays come and it's like a time crunch and then everything just feels more expensive and it's hard to find stuff. Okay, does this have tape on it right here? Wow, that is really and truly close. Okay, I'm going to have to bust this sucker open. Okay, I'm busting it open. We're going to break this because I just want to open her up. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Look at that. And this is for this kit right here, this one. So let's open her up. The first thing that you're going to pull out 
is this. I guess this is the instructions on how to use this right here. So we have instructions. Very nice if, if you don't understand what you're getting. Then we have this. Oh, uh oh. Okay, wait a minute. I dropped something. Okay. Make sure nothing's going to drop out. Oh, let's see, something else dropped out of here. Okay, make sure there's not another one. Okay. Then this is what the wall art is. Oh, I did drop another one. I just felt it fall on the floor. This is huge. This is really big. You see how big that is? This is huge. Okay, so it's a nice, big, huge poster for someone to decorate. And um, I felt I felt one of the pencils or the pens, whatever it was, it fell on my feet. Wait a minute. So there's three. There's three. So these are two of them, but there are three because one fell on the floor. And what else do we have here? Oh, there's more than that. So it's actually five, but there's one that fell on the floor. Then you also get the stickers that are like holographic. Holographic, you see that? Very cool looking. So you get five of these. I know one's on the floor. You get the stickers. You got your instructions on how to do what you need to do. And then you have the huge poster. So this would be a very nice gift for a a person that enjoys coloring. Anybody that doesn't have to be a kid. It could be anybody that enjoys coloring, um, you know, painting or whatever. It's just a nice creative outlet. So they have these available. Again, these are not Dollar Tree brand. Not Dollar Tree. Great find. All right. Then I also found, I know my Tom and Jerry keeps trying to escape. I also found some more of the Crayola air clay. So my kids absolutely love this, the air clay. So they brought back some more. So I had to pick up two more and they love to create things with it. Then they had this Crayola. If you go to my last Dollar Tree haul, I have a whole bunch of Crayola items that I found all at once. Go check that out. It has a whole bunch of cool Crayola stuff. I'll put it up here in the eye in the sky. Um, but this one, you can make a pinwheel. So this one's a cool one to do and to have. And there's your wood to make the pinwheel. I don't know if it'll let you do one pinwheel or two. I think it's just one. There's only one stick. So it includes three crayons, printed pinwheel, plastic fastener, wood stem. Okay, so you got the whole little kits for you to create it. Very nice item, especially for the summertime or take it away birthday. You know, they get bored, you're going on a trip, gives us something to do, keep them busy. Then um, this is the only item that I picked up from, I guess, their summer line as of right now. I got the four pack of cups and uh, this is four for $1.25 and they have this really cute design of the ice creams. So I got those. They're just useful, you know actual useful items. Then um, I did get this from the uh, toy department. This is a Hot Wheels, but it's new 2023. And it's a National Federation of the Blind. And uh, this one, it says Experiment Motors. This is a HW Braille Racer twin meal twin mill so this actually has braille writing on the side of the car plus braille writing here on the packaging okay so it has both yeah there's braille writing everything on it is in braille so you're not going to find the stickers or anything everything's in braille and i thought that that was so different and so unique and I, I got it for David. Um, David's my little Hot Wheels guy. And this is what the car looks like. It has that really cool stripe. And it's like that. There you go. So this is available if you're into collecting Hot Wheels. Unique new ones that come out and you keep them in the blister pack. This would be one that you might want to keep. Because um, this is new. I don't know if they've ever done a Braille car before. I have to look that up. So... Maybe I need to hide this because if that's going to be worth some money one day, because it's a Braille car, I think I might want to keep that instead of let David just, you know, 
have at it. <laughs> I'm being honest. Okay. And then I did buy two in, in the in the lighting department. I bought two of the LED daylights. Like I said, I'm going to be buying these each time I go. If I see one, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it. So I got two of those. And then uh, lastly, I did find the Wizards natural naturals um aromatherapy fine fragrance mist relaxing uplifting and positive mood the soothing lavender is nice i did open her up let me open it up again just to remind myself of it and these are wonderful because they're nice and dark so they're they work great with essential oils so if you want to recreate get some more distilled water and use your own essential oils after you use it or even change it up a little bit you could do that it's a very soothing lavender very soothing lavender um there's nothing else to it it's like straight lavender okay so if you're into lavender there you go they have it three ounce by wizard and this has essential oils in it yeah, all I smell is just straight up la lavender. Now, this one is citrus. It's a sunny citrus, mood brightener, invigorating experience, aromatherapy, infused essential oils. Again, by Wizard. Has a nice little holder right there. This is a very zingy, zingy, very bright, zingy style um, essential oil. It has a zing to it. Very, like, almost tangy. Um, and, yeah, it makes sense. So, you have orange, lemon, grapefruit, lime in here. And that's what it smells like. It's very zingy. Um, so, there you go. And then the last one, which a lot of people may not resonate with this. Um, this one is rosemary and cinnamon. Uh, infused essential oils, rosemary and cinnamon. It smells more like cinnamon than the rosemary. You can smell there's something else there, but it's more like cinnamon. Um, so this, this one might be a nice one to spray on your pine cones. If you have the pine cones and you leave them out somewhere on display and you want them to have that cinnamon spice smell, this one might be a nice one to spray. Yeah, this one right here. Okay. On your pine cones. So there you go. The three wizards and this. Yeah. And that's everything. I know this was a long one. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. And make sure you come back. Talk to you later. Bye.